Hi guys, that's Matt Ollier. Just coming to the completion of this project. So uh, we've been working on this with Four Core Electrical, one of our partners here. Uh, Rich has given you the whole lowdown on the house. Uh, so let's go look at some cool tech inside. Moving on to the lighting and blind side of things, we, we have two five slot control four panels over here. So on the left we have all the blind relays, just here, uh, which are for blinds in every room in the house. Uh, and then over here we have all the lighting side of things, so you've got two adaptive phase dimmers, and then you've got your DMX controllers, just down here, which are for all the LEDs in the kitchen and dotted around the house. Uh, but four core absolutely smashed these panels, as I'm sure you'll have uh, seen on the old Instagram. Uh, and then up here, we have our DMX engine and a, a couple of drivers just up there. So as always, heat miser uh, controlling the heat inside of things in this property. Uh, so we have all of our stats over here, and what we do is we just put an air probe in every single room. It just saves leaving a stat on the wall in the room. Um, and as always, beautifully labelled, so you know what's what. Uh, and then over here we have the UH8, which has just got uh, all the actuators plumbed into it, controlling all the valves. Uh, and then your hot water and your secondary return. And we always leave a data point next to it, just in case you ever need anything over there. So obviously this is only doing the ground floor side of things, uh, as there is three floors in this property. So there is another UH8 on the floor above me here, uh, and then on the third floor there's a UH4, which is just doing the dressing room. And look at the plumbing here, it's just absolutely spot on, isn't it? at the rack location for this property. As you can see, beautiful termination box as usual. We have absolutely future-proofed this house out to the nines. We've got all the speakers here for additional uh, zones of audio. All these blue patch leads are just providing general data around the house. And then we've obviously got all your sensors and all your cameras there and your video matrix uh, connections just at the bottom there. Uh, this switch here is just providing network into this termination box to distribute around the property. Uh, and then, yeah, as you can see, beautiful anaconda straight into our rack. Here we have our rack, um, and we have a rackness uh, managing the network in this property. So this is our router up, t up top here, and then this switch is just providing network to the rack. Uh, we then have a 12-channel Hikvision MVR, 
because this this house is absolutely blitzed with cameras. Uh, we then have a package PDU, which just gives the client accessibility to reboot anything in the rack if it needed it from one of the touch screens, or they can even just come to the rack and access any outlet through this menu. We then have uh, two IO extenders because there is loads of sensors complementing the cameras uh, dotted about the property. We then have a, a triad, eight zone audio matrix, um, then two four zone triad amplifiers. Here we have the EA3 processor, managing all the control four side of things. Here we have the HD Anywhere M hub, which is distributing a Skybox, an Apple TV and a Sony Blu-ray to all the TV points in this house. And then at, at the bottom over here, we have our UPS, which we always put in because it, it protects any power surges if, it, if there was one going into this rack. And also if the power dropped out, it'd give the client uh, an amount of time to get the power back on without anything dropping off. Uh, so here we have a for you blank uh, and we have put that there as we have left space for an AVR in the media room if the client ever wanted to upgrade it. Uh, and yeah, moving on. things that normally gets dropped out due to cost is the curtains and blinds but on this occasion the client decided to add them back in so we've got all the blinds across this back wall and then we do have uh, sole control of every single blind and curtain in here and we've actually got a separate vial now all of these blinds and curtains they're all tied into a scheduler so when the sun sets this will happen all the great tech that's inside massive shout out to the guys at four core we'll definitely be working with them guys again they've absolutely smashed it on this project uh, i'm sure we'll be back again as you've seen the space in the rack for upgrades so yeah subscribe like the video till next time <laughs>